President Obama's plans to undo another Bush policy, and this one is stirring up a lot of controversy. CBS News senior White House correspondent Bill Plant joins us with that. Good morning, Bill. Morning, Maggie. The stem cell issue has deep moral and political implications. It's the first issue of that kind that President Obama has undertaken. The order that he will sign today is a kind of compromise. It allows scientists to use tax dollars to study existing stem cell lines beyond those approved by President Bush back in 2001. But it leaves to Congress the fraught question of whether new stem cell lines can be created with tax dollars. But for those who believe that stem cells bring healing, there's no debate. He didn't ever think of himself as being sick and we didn't treat him like he was sick. But Henry Strongen Goldberg was sick with a rare blood disease that took his life when he was just seven. To have your child die before you do is devastating beyond words. Henry's parents, Lori Strongen and Alan Goldberg, believe their son's <laughs> chance of survival ended when President George W. Bush signed an executive order in August 2001 banning the federal government from funding embryonic stem cell research. The controversy, the embryos are destroyed when harvested, and opponents equate that to the destruction of human life. In terms of scientific advances, I don't think we're going to see anything from this. This is more an ideological move. Today's change of policy is something that Lori and Alan have been advocating for years, so that other parents don't have to go through what they did. And it is too late for us to, have, to help Henry, obviously, at this point. But it is not too late for us to stand up by the president's side and applaud this incredibly wonderful thing. And they'll have a chance to do that today. Lori and Alan will be here at the White House when President uh, Obama signs that executive order later today. As for the research itself, that will take some time. It will be at least four months before protocols can be approved and guidelines written and research can get underway. Maggie? Bill Plant at the White House. Thank you, Bill. Joining us now, early show contributor and WCBS-TV medical reporter, Dr. Holly Phillips. Good morning, Holly. Good morning, Maggie. For people who have any doubt, explain in a nutshell what is embryonic stem cell research. Essentially, it's using cells from an embryo to hopefully regrow cells damaged in certain diseases. And we should say this under President Bush was not banned or illegal, except now we're getting federal funding. Right. That's really an essential uh, issue that we have to clear up. The, this research was never, uh, as you said, banned or illegal. The question that, that we're addressing today is what role, if any, federal funding should have in use in this research. What do you think? Well, you know, it's not really so much what I think. It's more that what President Obama is saying is that we need to to support our scientists. Uh, many of the scientists for the last eight years have been complaining that they're spending more time trying to find funding for their research than actually doing their research. So for them, this will really have a profound effect. In what kinds of diseases or, tr or ailments specifically do you think we may see advancements? People are most excited about the neurologic illnesses, things like Parkinson's disease and Alzheimer's. Uh, this summer, a private research group out of California is actually going to start using embryonic stem cells in humans uh, to hopefully uh, cure spinal cell injuries for people who've been paralyzed from the waist down. We're also seeing some hope uh, in treating diabetes heart disease and even stroke uh, so so really millions of people could be could be affected by this research I wonder if we'll see progress more quickly now that these scientists have less red tape to work through I, I think so and certainly the scientific and medical community uh, is thinking so as well certainly on an international level in medicine we're so excited about this research and the potential for healing that it has so I think less red tape will have a profound effect all right dr. Holly Phillips welcome back from maternity leave thank showing you showing off pictures of Olivia <laughs> <It's> beautiful <laughs> very exciting thank you